Teddy, quick, wake up. Wake up, wake up, it's the Beatles. It's our children, wake up. Hmm? Oh my goodness, hello everybody. I miss you and 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 I can't wait to see you again. I hope that you are having so much fun at home and I hope you know that you are safe and protected and taken care of, okay? So, Miss Victoria, it's the Beatles. I know. Should we read them a story? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, boys and girls, hello. Meddy Teddy and I are going to read you a story, okay? So let's see, Meddy Teddy, which one? Should we do this one or this one? Mm -hmm. Okay. Meddy Teddy has chosen this book. So this book is called I Am Human, and it is a book of empathy. So if anybody remembers, the word empathy means that we can feel what other people are feeling, okay? So we can tune in and we can understand how they might be feeling, even though we we don't know ourselves, um, we, we ourselves haven't experienced what they're experiencing, we can imagine and we can feel what the other person is feeling. So that's um, empathy, okay? So everybody say empathy. Empathy. Good job. Okay. This book is the same author as I Am Yoga, Susan Verde, and it's the same artist as I Am Yoga and also as Plant a Kiss, Peter H. Reynolds, okay? See, the, the illustrations look a little similar, right? It's because it's the same illustrator. Okay, ready, Meddy Teddy? Yes. He's so excited you guys are here. Okay. I was born a miracle, one of billions, but unique. Everybody say, I am unique. Good job. I am human. I am always learning. So what's that? That's a little, little caterpillar and he turned into what? A butterfly, right? I am finding my way and choosing my own path on this incredible journey. So everybody picture your path and your journey in front of you and say, shh. Good job. I have big dreams. I see possibility. Does everybody have the same big dreams? No, right? We all can have different big dreams. I have endless curiosity. So let's see. He says, I make discoveries. So he has climbed up the tree because I bet you he heard a little birdie chirping. He wasn't sure what the sound was. So he climbed up the tree as long as it was safe, right? Probably mommy's down there or daddy's down there to hold him up. And he's climbing up and the bird, the mama bird is what? What is she doing? She's feeding the baby bird a worm, right? So he discovered that by exploring. I have a feeling of wonder. I am amazed by nature. I have a playful side. I find joy in friendships. Raise your hand if you love your friends. Yeah, right? We love our friends. We find a lot of joy in playing with our friends, right? Meddy Teddy's our friend, right, Meddy Teddy? Oh, yes, and I'm very, very, very full of joy, right? He's so happy to be with all of his friends, all of you today. And I'm very happy to have him. He's my friend too, right? I am human. But being human means 
I am not perfect. I make mistakes. I can hurt others with my words, my actions, and even my silence. Right? Is everyone, is anybody perfect? No, right? We are all just doing your best, our best, right? Say, I am doing my best. Good job. Good job. I can be hurt too, right? Sometimes we might hurt somebody else's feelings, even if it's by accident. And other times our feelings might get hurt, even if it's by accident, right? I can be fearful of things I don't yet understand and timid to try something new. So if you don't understand what's going on right now in the world and why we're all home and not in school, right? Then it could feel a little bit scary because it's you're not sure, right? We're all a little bit unsure. But can I tell you something? Can I tell you what I know for sure? I know that everything is going to be okay. And that as long as we are home and safe with our families and that we are staying healthy and remembering all the ways that we can stay healthy by eating good food and exercising and meditating and remembering our chakras, right? Washing our hands, right? We have to wash our hands and get rid of those yucky germs. Remember when we did the the green glitter um project with the germs we have to always wash our hands from the germs right for 20 seconds okay so you can be afraid of things you don't understand but that doesn't mean that um that everything isn't going to be okay right it's okay to feel afraid but it, you also must know that everything will be okay all right i promise and timid to try something new Sometimes you can feel afraid, right? Or a little bit nervous, or you feel like, I can't do that, so I won't do it. But practice makes perfect, right? And you have to just do your best and try. I have a heavy heart when I feel sadness. So that means that your heart here, it feels ooh, heavy, right? When you feel sad, it feels heavy. I am human. Do you think that only you feel sadness sometimes? No, right? Everybody feels sadness sometimes. Everyone around the whole world, no matter what state they live in, city, country, what continent, right? Every single person in the world can feel sadness sometimes. But then I remind myself that because I am human, I can make choices. Right? You can choose to feel happy again. Okay? I can move forward. Everybody show me move forward. Good job. He dove off the diving board and now he's moving forward. And now he's got a beautiful flower because it's springtime, I bet. Do you think the flower brought him joy? Yeah, right? The flower is probably sharing its light with him so that his light can feel happy again and he can move forward. A poor choice can become a better choice with thoughtfulness. So thoughtfulness is when we use our mind to think of a solution, right? When we can be problem solvers instead of instead of problem makers, right? We can we can solve a problem just using our mind and our heart, right? A bad day can become a great day with kindness. What's he doing with the flower? He's giving it to her, right? So he's sharing his light. I can act with compassion and lend a helping hand. So during this time that you're home with mommy and daddy or grandma and grandpa, what could you be doing? You could be lending a helping hand, right? So if they need help maybe with making dinner or um, the groceries or maybe they need help cleaning up a little bit, cleaning up your toys or um, putting you to bed, um, you could help them, okay?
And that's called um, acting with compassion, right? Because you understand they might need help, so you understand that it would help them if you share your light with them, right? I can treat others with equality and be fair. It's always good to be fair, right? It can hurt our feelings when somebody isn't fair with us, so we should always be fair with other people, right? I can choose not to fight, but instead to listen and find common ground. So sometimes we don't agree with somebody and we can't understand um, the way that they feel or what they're saying. However, they, if they are human, they have a light just like you, right? So if they have a light and you have a light, that could be your common ground, okay? Where you share your light with the person to make their light brighter. And then because their light is brighter, their light can come back to you and your light will get brighter too. So you don't always have to see eye to eye and understand um, everybody, but you can seek to understand them. You can try to understand them. And it makes it a lot easier if your light is nice and bright. It makes it a lot easier to do that. I can say I'm sorry and ask for forgiveness. And if somebody says that they're sorry and they ask us for forgiveness, what should we do? We should say, okay, I forgive you, right? Because when we don't forgive somebody, then we carry around that unforgiveness and it weighs on our shoulders and it's ooh, heavy, right? Unforgiveness feels heavy and it feels dim, right? So when we forgive somebody, that helps our light get brighter. Okay, and then ah, we can feel free from that, right? And move forward, right? I am human. Everybody say, I am human. You can pretend to stand on a mountain, do mountain pose and say, I am human. Good job. One of billions, but unique. I am not alone. I am connected to my friends, to my family, and to the world. We are all humans together, okay? So you are not alone, right? I'm still here, Miss Victoria's here, and I can't wait to see you again. You've got your family, you get to talk to your friends still, you maybe have brothers or sisters, or maybe some snugglies, right? You're never alone. And you, there are millions and billions of people in the world that you are connected to. Okay, and we can especially connect with people because of technology, right? I can make a video and show it to you. So we are all humans together. So you are never alone, no matter what, okay? You're never alone. You're always in company, okay? Even though we can't all be together in the same room, we're still together. We're still a community and we are still connected and we're strong. Let's say we are strong. Yes. And are we stronger alone or together? Together, right? So everybody here, pretend to hold my hand and we'll all hold each other's hands. And I'll hold Maddie Teddy's hand. And we're all a community, okay? Nothing can ever take that away, okay? And I will keep trying to be the best version of me. I am full of hope. I am human. Everybody say, I am full of hope. So we've talked about hope before, right? Um, hope means that you believe that something is possible, okay? That you have faith and you believe that something is possible, even if you can't see it yet. So let's all say, for example, we believe that it is possible for the world to be healthy again very soon, right? So we can say, I believe it is possible. I hope. Good job. Okay. And another thing, I will keep trying to be the best version of me, right? Miss Victoria tries every day, even though I'm an adult and I'm, I've been alive for 28 years, I'm still trying to work hard and be the best version of myself every day. So every day I get a little bit better, right? Some days I'm not so good but I just try my best and I do my I do my best the next day and maybe the next day my best will be even better. 
So that's a cool thing is you can always try the next day or the next moment to move forward and work to be the best version of yourself possible. That's what it is to be a human being, okay? So that's the end of the story, boys and girls. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you, boys and girls. I can't wait to see you again. Don't forget to do your yoga. Mwah. Mwah. Goodbye, little humans. <laughs>